Are you crazy? Are you, ah, are you scary? See? You gotta put the mask on, Mama. You put the mask on. <laughs> you. I know what it takes to be in this family now, Jennifer. I know what it takes. Gigi, Dylan, they both smoke too. I'm the one that's left out. I'm the one that's inside while you're all having pass around. <coughs> <coughs> Stop, please. That was real, real too. That wasn't even fake. <laughs> These are gonna be the death of me. My mom wants everybody to know she don't smoke no more. Enjoy the show. There's this couple's intimacy exercise where uh, you s stare at in into each other's eyes for four minutes. Hmm. What do you think? You want to do that? Let's do it. <laughs> Just stare at each other. Just staring mm -hmm. at each other. You know Zac Efron and um, Emily in Paris, Lily Collins. Is she is it Lily Collins? I think it's Lily yeah. Collins. <laughs> she they they did that. Are they together? No, they weren't together, but they did that, and it was it was real sweet, and they had like so much chemistry, it was like off the charts. Well, let's do it. He says, film me. He says, me. Me, it's sir. It's you, Brendo. It's you, Mr. Doe. This video is kindly being sponsored by Helix Sleep. And we love Helix Sleep. We've been working with Helix Sleep for over two years. I love working with Helix because uh, we just have such a great working relationship. And we actually use their product. Right? We have two Helix Midnight Lux mattresses, a king size and a queen size. Well, honestly, like besides me, I think Helix Sleep, Sleep is your longest relationship. Oh, absolutely. I think I can speak for both of us when I say that these mattresses are, are so damn good. Um, and they've held up because it, we've been working with them for over two years. So we've also had these mattresses for over two years as well. It'll be three. It'll, it'll be three years here soon. I it'll think. be three years that we've been working with them. Yeah. So this one will turn three years old and it's still tight as ever. You know, the top's real tight. Um, has a couple stains. That's our fault. We have gotten a, <laughs> a mattress protector at this point. So I always get a mattress protector, but I'm real happy with both of them. They both have held their, like, because they're, like, a little bit firm for you, but also, like, have a little bit of softness for me. Just, like, a tiny bit. Like a like cloud on top of firmness. He won't let me get a cloud bed. So this is this is the good, perfect compromise. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your unique needs. Everybody's different, right? Well, Helix has this sleep quiz that'll match you with the perfect mattress. And it was perfect for us because we could take the quiz as a couple. You know, Alistair is more of a side sleeper. I'm an all over sleeper. Alistair likes a firm mattress. I like my mattress medium. We took the quiz and we were matched with the Midnight Mattress. Now, one great part to all this is that Helix will ship your mattress right to your door for free in the US. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up and we've done it twice. And if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, well, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so you get more than three months to make sure that you absolutely love it. And if you don't, they'll come and pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. Well, if you're somebody who knows in the market for a new mattress and you think that Helix sounds right for you, you can go to helixsleep.com slash, this is Zach and B, where you can get 20% off of your mattress and two free, do you remember what they're called? Two free dream pillows. Dream pillows. <laughs> two. Yeah. He loves the two free pillows. Do you love and two free pillows? they're always cool. They're literally always cool. Yes. I love a breathable pillow. You know who loves the Helix Sleep mattresses? Mr. Doe. Mr. Doe. Mr. Doe loves him. Love Helix Sleep. It looks like I'm choking. He's, like, he's, Do you love Helix Sleep? <laughs> he's about to fall asleep in but, Helix Sleep. Can I set it for four minutes? Are you ready? Yes. Can I blink? Am I allowed to blink? You are allowed to blink. You're going to have to like that. <laughs> Ramona eyes. Remember Ramona eyes. Hey, Ramona eyes. Just Got it? I feel like this is going to be so cringy to you. It probably will be. It'll, it'll be uncomfortable. It's just like the rest of our videos, honestly. Honestly, it's all of them. So, I'm sorry for anybody who's watching right now. Yes, okay. And, go. Okay, you look down. You already, you already no. broke it. You already broke up. I was making sure it was going. Do it again. Everybody and ready? Go. Oh, now. Okay, you went too soon. One. <laughs> I, count of three. One. Two. Let's take five. Three. All right.
I've got the cheer song stuck in my head right now. Me. Do you think I'm sexy? Do you think I really care? I have um every night in my dreams. <laughs> Your eyes always turn different colors whenever I see them. I feel like every day they're a new color. They're always very dark. Mm. So. Your, your eyes are always a warm brown like oak. Are you crying? No, but it's... I, I, I keep on thinking of this as like a staring competition. Mm. And so I keep on keeping my eyes open a little bit too long. Do you think I even care? I feel like you're trying to distract yourself. Dig it up, throw it out. With a little banter or so. Dig it up, throw it at me. You're having a hard time just staring into my eyes. No. I was just thinking about the other night when we were driving and we were listening to old Buffy songs and that was what came to my mind. Do you feel uncomfortable? Do you feel uncomfortable? No. Why are you crying? Trying to send you Morse code through my blinks. What's so intense about it? I don't you're know. Like you're having like a whole reaction. <laughs> I want to move. <laughs> well, it seems like it's a little hard for you to do this. Is it hard for you? No. That's easy. Oh, I'm just thinking, but I think the most distracting part is Brando right here. He is. He's fed up. Yeah. He's already tried to do this. Okay. He doesn't like the attention being taken away from him. What are you thinking? I don't know why tears are coming to your eyes. I think that you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're handsome, you're a good person, inside and out, and I'm lucky to have you. I don't know if that sounds like the right answer. Why? I don't know, those tears came on pretty quick as soon as we started, and now I'm like, who caused those tears? You caused those tears. I caused those tears, but how? With your beautiful face That's staring at me. Words. Is it love? Is it fear? Is it... What is it? I, I, I do think it's love and fear. You do think it's love? <laughs> like, I think it's love. I think love is kind of scary. I don't know. I don't know what you think. This is we're, we're confrontational love. It is very like... I mean, we're seven years in, and I, I'm mm. still kind of scared of, like, what the future is going to bring for us. Yeah. You know, what everything means for us. What about you? Mm -hmm. I agree. No, I just love you a lot. How much? A lot, a lot. I love you 3,000. Don't say that. <laughs> I think you feel like you're forcing yourself to have, like, to, like, to be a certain way for this. Mm. Instead of just allowing yourself to just stare into my eyes. Just allow yourself to stare into my eyes. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and just like click it off. There you go. You keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. Okay. Yeah, just a couple more minutes. Uh, just a couple more minutes. What's going on with you? I'm being sl slightly, beautifully uncomfortable. What's the uncomfort part for you? I think it's just like staring to somebody's eyes for so long. You know. Mm -hmm. I think that, like, this makes me think that we definitely need to put our phones away a little bit more. Oh, I agree. You know? Pay attention to each other and Brando. I think the last year was really rough on us. And so this sort of, like... Intimacy? This intimacy sort of exercise is... We should do more. Really confrontational, you know? It is. It was a hard year.
It's been very, very hard for you. Just don't make me cry. I love you very much, though. I love you more. Mm -hmm. Now we got through that year. Now we've hit the reset button. Really interesting, yeah. Kind of reactions, things like that. I don't know. I love you. I love you too. I feel like I love you though can become so commonplace. And it's said so, like, often. That's why, like, it sometimes it, it loses meaning almost, I, and so. I used to say, "I miss you," um, and I'm, I love you. So that means. But I, I, I wanted. I didn't know that. Uh, when I say I miss you, it means that. It, it means I love you, but it means more than that. It means that I want you here. I want you with me. Even if it's like, us. Just, you know, doing stuff every day. And I say I miss you, mm. it just means I love you and I want you here and I want you present. So, I miss you. I miss you very much. I want us, I want us to be more present. And I miss you. I miss you. So is that what that's going to mean now? I miss you, yeah. You just say that, that feels new. <laughs> I miss you. No boots and pants and boots and pants and no. boots and pants. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've waited like seven years for that. It's like six years, yeah. Yeah. No boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Huh? I guess we can. I guess time's already up, so we can do. I love you so much, though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we love you too. We do love you, Bobby. We love you too. He's like the king of the stair. Brando. Brendo. He said, I'm, this is too want, intimate for me. Do you want a ball? <laughs> he says do you want a ball? Do you want a ball? Are you a ball? He says, this is too Are intimate Are you a ball? It's awkward. How do you feel? Do you feel like that was cringy? Um, yeah, and sweet. And sweet? Yeah. I think it was cringy sweet. What do you think, Mr. Doe? This is a sweet bitch boy. boy. And you're my sweet boy. And you're a sweet boy. You're my sweet boy. You're a sweet boy. We're all sweet boys. <laughs> He's like, we're all sweet boys. He says, I love us all being sweet boys. So watch the cans open. No, don't give him any attention. <laughs> <laughs>